We all want a winning, successful, thriving, a happy marriage. And for some, maybe you, you're looking for Mr. and Mrs. Wright. But today specifically, we're zeroing in on the domain where we live, those of us whom have exchanged those marriage vows once upon a time. The U.S. Census Bureau says that divorce rates are higher than they've been in all of history. And the number of us staying together, it's dropping by double digits every single decade. Culture says that being married is a joke. Media has confused what marriage is altogether. But are there secrets that successful married couples know? Is there an approach to it in our mind and our way of thinking that can lead to success in marriage? Are there principles found in the pages of that book called the Bible that will help your union with that someone special last through the ages? And watch this. Revitalize what's on life support today. My very special guests today are Asani and Danielle Pettiford. And they're here to share with you and with me 10 principles for lifelong partnership, where found in a groundbreaking, best-selling book called The Audacity of Marriage. This powerful couple is working with people all over the world through coaching programs and retreats and training sessions designed to truly make love work. These authors of over 13 best-selling books are experts and they're here to give you and me some sound advice that will work. NBC has had them, BET has had them. <laughs> and today, they're here with me and you on this show and on this network for a one-on-one -on -one up close encounter and exclusive. They're here to tell you what the experts want. They're here to tell you what they've discovered that you may not know about marriage that unless you know today, Yours might not ever be what it was designed to be. Welcome to One on One. Hey, if you're just tuning in, I am here with amazing guests of an amazing book, The Audacity of Marriage. How about that title? Come on, somebody. Ten Principles for Lifelong Partnership. Hassani, Danielle, welcome to the program. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for Thank having you so much. <laughs> it is a pleasure to be on your <laughs> what show. What an awesome intro. It's awesome. Thank you. It is an awesome intro because there are some people that are going through some awesome things. And mm. that word can speak to difficult stuff. Somewhere at that opening, I talked about the sleepless nights and the crying till you're sick and the heart pain and mm -hmm. married yes. 25 years. Wow. Father of five children. I don't care what anybody says. That investment, it's work. Mm. Yes, hard work. It's hard work. Oh, yeah. And I always like to just give people a little context of who you are. Yeah. Now, I gave a little bit at, at the front, but some people have just dialed in. You're authors of an amazing yes. book, but what else do you do very quickly? Well, we've been married for 14 years, four beautiful girls, but you know, the passion that we have for marriage was birthed out of our pain. So we created an organization called Couples Academy, okay. uh, which is a relationship-based learning institute committed to really helping couples by placing them on the path to fulfillment. So initially, our passion was helping people who have good relationships have better ones. But we realized that overwhelmingly, people were in crisis and conflict and yeah. pain and needed help. And so I become an infidelity recovery specialist. And as marriage coaches, we really help couples and help them restore in their relationship. Wow. Yep for people that are watching again, and stay with me please, because I'm like you, I'm flipping the dial, you see a program like mm -hmm. this one, it's like, does this apply to me? Let's just go, go through very, very quickly who it does apply to. Who are the people that come see you? 
Mm. Number one, we deal with people who are on the verge of marriage. So they're in an engagement season okay. and they want to know what to do right because okay. possibly where they've gone, it wasn't enough information to really make a sustainable relationship work. Or okay. people who are in crisis. They're on the verge of divorce. They just found out that their partner was involved in an affair and they don't know what to do. They're vacillating back and forth. Do I stay? Do I go? And in the midst of that crisis, they're looking for guidance and direction. And that's when Couples Academy shows up. Absolutely. And other couples also come to us who are copreneurs like we are. Wow. Because when you are a copreneur, you have a set of issues and problems that are unlike any Very other true. entrepreneur. Because you're not <laughs> only in business, but you're in business with your spouse. Wow. So you better take care of that relationship, yeah. you better take care of that marriage, and you better take care of that business. Whoo, you just spoke to every <laughs> yeah. pastor and his wife <laughs> yes. exactly. on the planet. Yes. Well, let's get into this. You have authored a book, and it is a best-selling book, meaning countless people that are coming back to you saying, this saved my marriage. Yes. This helped me plot the right course to get married. So I now know I got the right person. And I would imagine some people figured out they had the wrong person. <laughs> but it's also really birthed a passion from your own story mm -hmm. yeah. that is helping you get into people's lives as one-on-one -on -one coaches, mm -hmm. if you will, yes. mm -hmm. to help them reach the kind of success the Bible talks about. Getting married was a big step for me. And I wanted to know that I was prepared for my life to change. I wanted to make sure that we were doing things the right way. So. I sought out Couples Academy online. The information and perspective was new to us and very enlightening. They have helped us get through some tough circumstances. We now have a great foundation for a lifelong union. So let's get into your story if yeah. we can. Who wants to start? Well, we were in major crisis <laughs> and I thought I knew what I was doing and didn't realize that I was what I would call a verbal assassin. I was reckless with my words. I was a criticizer. I would make her feel as if she was less than what she was. And I didn't realize I was destroying her spirit. I was helping her to build walls. And so dealing with new kids and our financial issues and our horrible communication, it really created a windstorm and it ultimately crippled our relationship. And so in the midst of crisis, you know, we were on the verge of divorce. Wow. I want to rewind if I can. Mm -hmm. What was happening then? I mean, at the time, my walls were built up. There really wasn't anything he could say to hurt me Got it. or help me. I wouldn't take advice from him. Mm -hmm. I didn't care what he had to say. It was sort of like we were two you know, sailing ships in the house. Don't touch me. I'll go my way. You go your way. Words are powerful. Very. You know, we don't understand how powerful they are. Uh, men that are watching, women that are watching, the power of our words that all of what we would see was created mm -hmm. from nothing by the power in God's words. Mm -hmm. This whole process of faith is to not just believe in your mind, but declare yeah. with your mouth. So you were, you were declaring some stuff. Uh, well, you know, it's, <laughs> they say sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never harm me. Well, that's a lie. And I think at the end of the day, yes, we may have sexual problems or parenting problems, in-law problems, financial problems, but at the core of it all, it is our inability to effectively communicate with mm -hmm. one another. Wow. And the communication issues don't allow us to really deal with the true uh, matter at hand, and so issues never get resolved. Wow. And we have been doing this for quite a few years, and it was a wake-up call to me to realize that I was actually destroying her. And she said something to me that really changed my perspective. She said, you know what? I'm done. You do you, and I'm going to do me. God. And once she said that, I'm like, uh-oh, we're in trouble. <laughs> Yes. So I've got to do something to turn this ship around. Yeah. And so I began searching for anything and everything, books and videos and individuals that could pour into me to help me figure out how to change me, how to yeah. change his relationship. But when I realized that I was the lowest common denominator in all of my relationships and yeah. began to look internally, then all of a sudden our relationship began to come together, well, and here we are today. And he, he wasn't the only culprit in the relationship. I okay. mean, we have different backgrounds. I come from a background where I had a single parent home, and I was raised to be controlling, be strong, don't have to rely on anybody. And so I didn't like being told what to do. I wanted to be my own woman. I wanted to be independent mm -hmm. in a marriage, mm -hmm. and that doesn't work. So when you've got one, two, three, four children coming mm -hmm. along yes. in the midst of a new marriage, you're going to have conflict. You're yeah. going to have issues when two marinades come together and conflict. But I mean, I had my issues, which I, I have to own up to because being a verbal assassin is such a big deal. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. You've heard critical people. You've heard them knock people down. It's such a scary, horrible thing. But we all had a part to play. And, and regardless of thank you for that, because, mm -hmm. you know, there's a dude watching saying, we are not all wrong. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So and you, I think... you had a part to play. Yeah. Yes. But, you, but hold on, but you pushed past that. I did. I mean, I didn't hear anything come out of your mouth about, well, you know, I was justified in several of what I said. Mm -hmm. But you didn't focus on any of that. You focused on you and you alone. Exactly. Exactly. I decided to divorce myself from my poor communication habits. I decided to divorce myself from my false definition of masculinity that didn't work in favor of our union. And when I began to do that and get alone by myself and present myself to God, he showed me my raw essence. He showed me the good, the bad, and the ugly. God. And if I was going to make this relationship better, I had to connect with him. And that's why it's so important for men because a lot of us, not all, but some of us don't have that connection mm. because we're not willing to dig deeper than the surface. We mm. operate on such a surface level. So the level of emotional intimacy and spiritual intimacy we need with God, we don't have. And in my opinion, our relationship with him is a template for what our relationship with our mm -hmm. spouse should God be. God Almighty. Yes. Once that's in yeah, place, yeah. this thing becomes easy. Mm -hmm. I've been practicing it. Millions of people are getting married each year and they have no idea what to do to make the marriage flourish and grow. And we know that God has a place in our marriage, but what does that look like? If you could sit down with two of the most successful marriage coaches available, would you do it? Of course you would. These well-known relationship experts and authors have devoted their lives to helping couples not only survive the rough patches, but thrive and bloom into something more beautiful than before. All of this for a love gift of only $59.99. Call now and get back to the joy of your marriage together. Operators are standing by. You know every yes. single woman and every broken woman yeah. just said, give me some of that? <laughs> I mean, yes. you're the man. Yes. Getting this into a man's heart and his mind it could absolutely be a game changer. Absolutely. Yeah. But how do we do that? Let's dive into just some of this. I just want people to understand some of what they will discover here. Chapter one is marriage is a God idea. How fitting for where I just landed. <laughs> it's what it is, isn't it? It is. Yes. Understanding that marriage is a God idea, then God was intentional when he created Adam and Eve. They were completely different. They had their own individuality, their own self-expression. They were uniquely opposite. And a lot of times we get into relationships and we're like, you know what, we can't communicate right. We have different interests. We're on two different planes. But God designed it that way. Yeah, yeah. He designed it that way because I have certain possibly deficiencies that she compensates for and vice versa. Where she's weak, I'm strong. Where I'm weak, she's strong. So yeah. when we come together as one, you can't see our weaknesses yes. because we're fit and designed by God to do something purposeful. Wow. But, it, but it took time to get there. I mean, now we fit like a perfect puzzle because we've understood and learned each other. Yeah. But when we were going through, we were in such opposition, we didn't know. Yeah. Like, we didn't know that we were meant to do this together. God. We're spending so much time in opposition and fighting and battling and trying to prove who's right, who's better, that we're ignoring what's right in front of us. Wow. The and potential. You just, yeah, potential. Uh, yeah. And you just answered a question, I think for a lot of people that the reason they have decided to end it mm -hmm. is because they have fallen into a belief system that we're just not compatible. Right. Yeah. I just heard you say, you don't need to focus on being sane, but one. One. Mm -hmm. that's, I'm like, that's such common sense. Mm -hmm. But we miss that. And here's a challenge. Most of us, when we get married, we invite God to the wedding ceremony, but we don't invite him into our homes. Mm. So we haven't made the Bible final authority in our lives. And so we may go to church and do the religious act Got on it. a weekly basis, but we don't have true relationship and intimacy mm -hmm. with him. Got it. I believe that we as believers must seek the presence of God, but we also must apply the principles of God. When wow. we do that, that's the fullness of God. Yes. Wow. And so if you don't have both, then you're missing something. So God is all powerful, but we're not allowing his full essence to exist within our relationship. Absolutely. Is that why you say wow. 10 principles? 10 principles. Because <laughs> you what? You've identified, therefore, yeah. the 10 principles found in God. Yes. That is the only way mm -hmm. you're going to get out of your mess mm -hmm. and get through it. 
Am I getting it right? You're yes. absolutely right. And so here's the deal. It's good for us to seek wise counsel. Yeah. It's good for us to go to ministers and pastors to help us through our situation. But the reality is not every man or woman of God is equipped to help with specific sure. situations yeah. you're struggling with. Yeah. Because we specialize in things, we're able to get results that others may not be able to get. So true. Wow. Couples Academy is truly unique in that the teachings are practical, spiritual, and wholly genuine. Hassani and Danielle counsel with compassion and prove that cultivating love in marriage is not as complicated as it seems. The intimacy between Sandra and I has not only grown, but we have the tools to continue the process of falling in love with each other daily. We appreciate you and we love you guys. We believe everyone knows when their relationship is in need of a reinvention. However, finding the courage to get help is what's difficult. We feel so blessed to have had the courage to let someone from the outside, inside of our world. Couples Academy is single-handedly responsible for changing how we approach, receive, and respect ourselves as individuals and as a couple. We are forever grateful for the program. So you have taken the culmination of your experiences to resurrect something that was nearly dead. Mm. And you have boiled it all down put it into a, a book and a, a teaching system. Here are the 10 yes. most powerful, effective steps you can take to make sure you got the right mate, keep the one you got, and resurrect that which is dead. Did I summarize who I'm sitting in front <laughs> I of? I could not have articulated that <laughs> any better. You know, I, I, I say this, most couples, as she said, the love story, they get married. But we transition from being soulmates to role mates to roommates. Ooh. There's an emotional disconnect. Yes. There's a regression that takes place over the course of time. This book helps to get you back on the track and transition from being a, ro a roommate to a role mate back to the place where you're soulmates again. Wow. Yes. It's a, it's a big book. I would imagine that you wrote it in a way that people can easily understand. Absolutely, we're telling them our story and each step that we actually took to restore our marriage. Wow. And then things that other people have done who have gone through things that maybe we haven't gone through. We haven't gone through everything. We haven't experienced everything. Mm -hmm. But we've experienced enough that we know the course to get you back on track and working towards a successful marriage. Wow. The audacity of marriage is amazing. It spoke to every issue that we've been struggling with for years. We were taken back by the wealth of information they provided. My library is compiled with at least a dozen books on marriage, and by far, none of them come close to what the Pettifords clearly articulated in this book. This is a must-read for any couple who's truly looking for resolution. And there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff to navigate. Mm -hmm. There is when there's so much complexity, and when you you do carry so much baggage, and you haven't overcome things in the past, guilt, yeah. shame. You need somebody to help you process it through. Yeah. yeah is really what you're saying, is that we're here to help you work it out for your good. Absolutely. Here, here's the thing. That's why two or three or four sessions as a checkoff list before you get married, let's go on a premarital counsel, it's not enough. Yeah. Mm. You're barely scratching the surface. You've collected beliefs along the way that don't serve you. You're still hurt by past pains that you haven't overcome, and now you're gonna take your broke, infuse self into a relationship, right. broken and incomplete. Right. And when two broken people come together, they create a miserable situation. Yes. Wow. Yeah. You don't come together to broken parts to make a whole. No. While that sometimes can happen, usually it's gonna create a bigger mess. Yes. It does. I always like to look for other places where a book that is titled The Audacity of Marriage and speaks specifically to that would have application in other areas. And I'm hearing by sorting the marriage thing out, you're gonna break some addictions. Mm. Absolutely. By sorting the marriage thing out, you're gonna overcome some guilt and shame mm -hmm. from your past. Mm -hmm. By sorting the marriage thing out, you're gonna tap into a power center of yes. creativity and destiny and purpose that you didn't even know was there. Yes. By sorting the marriage thing out, you're gonna peel away the layers that mm. the devil's piled on to <laughs> blind you from who you really are. Yeah. There's so much more than just fixing a marriage. Oh, without so a doubt. So much more, so much more. You come out a better person. When we went through our process, we were not focusing on each other. It was somewhat of a rough process for me. I didn't wanna look at me. I didn't wanna look at my stuff and mm -hmm. my baggage mm -hmm. and my history and my family marinade and sure. everything that went wrong sure. in my life. But that was the only way for me to be free enough 
to be able to receive love from him. God. I had to work on me and he mm -hmm. had to work on him. And when you go through that process, you're really going internal and the byproduct of that of you becoming a better person and being more authentic mm. is being able to turn to your spouse yes. and have a more genuine connected relationship with your spouse. Wow. Hassani Pettiford and the Couples Academy came into my life at a time when I was feeling overwhelmed and lost. I knew my marriage had issues, but I also felt I needed help to fulfill my potential and be happy with who I was. I had tried therapy before on my own and with my husband, and we never really connected to that mode of help. I literally remember praying for something that could help us get out of our cycle of extreme ups and downs. And honestly speaking, I am a more confident me and my marriage is a happy, thriving relationship. The reason why we're able to connect with so many couples is because we're willing to be transparent and authentic in our message. We put our heart on our sleeves and put it all out there. Yeah. And that gives couples hope because they're like, wow, if they've been through what we are going through, but they've made it out, then that gives us hope. Yes. And we're still figuring it out, sure. right. but we're able to do something so powerful as a couple because we've had that personal journey. So it's more than a profession, it's a passion. And yes. people feel that and they yeah. can connect with that yeah. when we work with them. Absolutely. Wow, uh, I wanna thank both of you for being here. Thank and you. it's been a joy. Thank you, sir. It has been my honor. And I know it's been your honor, why? Because it's not just this couple that's speaking to you. It's, it's God speaking into your circumstance and your situation and giving you something that is tangible. Uh, don't just tickle your ears. It really works. Ten principles. Ten principles. To save a marriage. To start one right. To discover who you are to tap into a power source that's inside of you, to understand what purpose and vision and destiny really is, to uh, fix that money thing, mm. start thinking right, speaking right, and walking in the authority and the dominion that God called you to. It's the season to get things together and to get things running right. You've been praying, God, help me in this area. God wants to impact every area of your life. And so many of us, we say, well, we can't do anything about this marriage thing or this relationship thing, so we're just going to put it on a shelf and I'm going to focus my energy not on what I think is dead and I've given over to God and I'm focusing on the other stuff I can control. This program and you saying, I'm willing to take a step to allow God to infuse me with information and understanding that can really make a difference is you actually saying, I surrender it all to Him. Mm. Amen? So I want to encourage you as the best sales pitch I can give you mm. because you don't need one today. What you need is answers to real problems and get real solutions that will work every single time you apply them. And that is what the principles found on God's Word, based on God's Word, can do for you. So our announcer is coming right now going to share with you how you can take uh, cake action on a bundle that's been put together you, with, for you. That's not just the book, but a teaching series that's going to walk you step by step through what to do beginning today. And God's ready to move. Thank you again. Thank you. We'll be right back right after this. We want to pray for you. Don't go away. There is an epidemic in our world today concerning marriage. It's not divorce, although that's bad. It's not infidelity, although it's on the rise. The epidemic we are talking about regarding marriage is ignorance. Millions of people are getting married each year, and they have no idea what to do to make the marriage flourish and grow. And we know that God has a place in our marriage. But what does that look like? Our guests today hear the same stories over and over again, and it was their story too. Whether you've been married for a day, a year, or decades, be assured that there is hope and help for you today that will turn your marriage in the right direction. Through today's show, you've gotten a little introduction to this amazing couple who have made it their mission to bring well-defined steps into your marriage and help you make your relationship what you had always hoped for but didn't know how to achieve. These well-known relationship experts and authors have devoted their lives to helping couples not only survive the rough patches, but thrive and bloom into something more beautiful than before. 
They have developed a successful system designed to help men and women work through their differences and walk hand in hand. You're invited to call now for their book, The Audacity of Marriage, and learn how to overcome common challenges couples face. You'll also receive the DVD series titled The Before, During, and After of an Affair. Three crucial messages on one DVD dealing with the topic of infidelity and how to prevent it. In addition, you and your spouse will also enjoy individual DVD messages by Hassani and his wife, Danielle. The Marriage Mastermind, The Power of Partnership, teaches how to use the law of agreement to manifest God's best in your life. And Copreneurship, Partnering in Passion and Profit, explores the issues of couples working together at home and work successfully. All of this for a love gift of only $59.99. But that's not all. Hassani and Danielle would like to personally invite you to join them at one of their many nationwide Audacity of Marriage conferences. When you call right now, you will receive two tickets valued at $200 each, free. And Damon is so excited to share in this offer. He is making one of his own. Call now to receive a very special bonus. Damon is going to give you a second copy of the Audacity of Marriage book free. He is also going to include a copy of the entire one-on-one -on -one program. Remember, in almost every marriage, there is a partner suffering from ignorance. And your gift of this book may be just what they need to save their relationship. Call now and get back to the joy of your marriage together. Operators are standing by. Let's pray fast. Go ahead. Father God, I pray for every soul that is watching this program right now, every couple going through issues. I pray to God that before giving up, calling it quits, throwing in the towel, and entering into divorce, that they're willing to do yet one more thing to save their union before it's too late. We know that your power is real, and you can turn any situation around. And so I pray for everyone contemplating divorce that they will have a changed heart, a changed mind, and that marriages will be healed families will be restored, and you will be glorified. Glory In Jesus' God. name. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you. Woo! Thank you so much. Got me fired up. <laughs> Love you. Thank you for being here. We'll see you again next time. Hi, Damon Davis here. I want to thank you for tuning into today's program. I hope you were blessed. I hope that we gave you that one idea, one strategy, one solution to shape your thinking and help you win today. The Lord told me not long ago that we need to provide you, the viewer, with an opportunity to go even deeper, more one-on-one -on -one with the guests that we've had here on this program, the guests that you saw today. It's called One-on-One -on -one Academy. What is it? It's an online, 24-hour-a-day digital school, that's right, where you have the ability to connect with the guests that you saw here, to move deeper into the things of God, to understand solutions to spirit, soul, and body in a way, well, you'll have to see for yourself. Go to oneononeacademy.com on your desktop computer or digital device to discover more. And hey, I'll see you there.